Hey guys, Justin Wings back here with College Fishing 101. Um, just got off the water, pre-fishing for a tournament this weekend. Um, and I had just emptied out my kayak and I thought of a great idea for a video and that's something I haven't actually done yet. Um, I'm gonna review my Pelican Catch 100. Um, I know I've seen a couple reviews out there, but none of them are very extensive. None of them really go into detail. They're more promoting the kayak than they are actually reviewing it. Um, so I'm just going to give you all a good generalized review of it, what I think, what I don't like about it. I'm not, this is not a promotional video from Pelican or anything. It's just going to be my review of my kayak and uh, why I personally think it's probably the best beginning tournament kayak you can buy um, for the price because what you get with this kayak, with this setup, um, compared to other competitors, I think is top notch when you look at the price and everything so um starting at the front first thing we're going to have is the handles now compared to other kayaks at this price other than the molded in ones these are the best handles you're going to get um first thing you like you see a lot of people do on their cheaper kayaks is replace the handles because they're made of paracord and plastic and they suck to grab um these are riveted in with rivets obviously um they're comfortable to grab they've got uh indentions where your hands are at so you don't space for time or space for uh area with your hands so i mean they're really comfortable um they're in good spots you got two on the side one in the front one in the back if you have two people carrying it um the next thing you have is the pelican symbol i've got a gopro mount currently on it but that's the first pelican symbol next is this hatch now this hatch is probably in the best area they could have put it um i've seen some people say they should have put one in the back as well on this slant but i disagree because a lot of water gets back here um if you don't put your scub hole in so i like the idea of leaving that empty um so this hatch simple close Oh, lock open just locks it shut um currently right in here i've got my batteries um for my depth finder and a crate i mean it's a huge hatch um you could easily fit a dry bag in there um it does have the ring if you want to make it a waterproof hatch for a more waterproof dry bag um and it does go up underneath there uh, i wouldn't suggest putting any rods in there because you're gonna have to get them at a pretty severe angle to get them up in there in that direction but for its use of me i use it for a hatch for um batteries if i'm going down the river uh i can put spare pair of clothes in there because this is waterproof or water resistant um i mean if you flip the kayak it's obviously gonna get water in it so but i mean if you're just going down the river or going on the lake it's fine uh the next thing is going to be there are two uh mounting brackets and these are in a good location, I say. I would say good, not great, because when you're paddling um, or if you're fishing, they kind of get in the way when you're trying to bring in fish. Um, if you have your, like me, I have my transducer and uh, depth finder mounted on the same mount, so it kind of gets in the way. Now, that's on me using that setup, but it's also kind of on them. I would have liked to have seen these mounting brackets more towards the front and towards this bend right here in these two general areas that way they're out of the way this space isn't used any anyway because i'm six foot one and that's as far forward or as far as far forward as i put my uh foot brackets and i'm still having to stretch so i couldn't imagine somebody um five that was five 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 six or something like that that these are going to get in the way while they're fishing if they were right there um the next thing is the foot uh locks these are what you put your feet on when you're paddling um they're comfortable i mean they don't they're secure they lock in you're not going to have a problem slipping uh they are a good solid uh foot pedal i mean then you see some with the actual rails and everything i just think that's a little bit unnecessary there's no problem with those at all uh you've got your strap you got your first of your scub holes um i normally leave this one shut because i want the water to sit towards the back of the kayak and not towards the front because i normally take my shoes off if i'm wearing flip-flops if i'm wearing tennis shoes and i put them up there in this front spot because i don't use it anyway 
so why not? Um, moving on back, we have two of these latching brackets here and here. I've got them hooked up uh, for this side one. I put my paddle la leash on, and on that side, I've got a pair of snips. Um, those are good in there. They're, I mean, they're screwed in. You're not going to have a problem with those coming out. I have never seen or heard of any of these coming loose. Uh, moving on, uh, just to talk about the handles real quick again. These handles do have holes in them, um, which is great because carabiners lock straight on there. So you get out extra carriage with my, uh, my fish grips. Um, they, I put a piece of carabiner on there, locks right on, never have to worry about it. Uh, the seat. Pelican did a great job with these seats. Um, it's not a feel-free style seat, so it's not gonna, it's not 100% comfortable, um, but it's not bad. Uh, spending eight hours, nine hours on the water, my back doesn't hurt. Uh, it does have adjustable back straps. So if you sit, tend to sit more forward, you can lock the straps down. Um, if you sit more back like I do, when I fish, I like to kind of relax. So I sit those more towards the back. Um, it's a two position seat. You have the front locking position, which is loosen it up in the down position, which is that, which puts the seat lower down in the kayak. It's easier for paddling because um, you had a lower center of gravity. You're not going to fall, you're not going to tip over as easy. Um, you also have the upright position, which is what I just leave it in because it's kind of a hassle. To, uh, to swap it back over once you get to your spot. I just leave it in the upright position. Um, it doesn't, you I mean, in my eyes, four inches isn't enough to really flip me over. If I'm gonna flip, I'm gonna flip regardless where the seat's at. Uh, you have two uh, paddle holders on either side. So if you're right-handed and like to keep your paddle on the left side like I do, it's you can keep it over there. Um, if you're left-handed and want to keep the pedal on the right side, you got it over there. Again, these aren't going to come off. I've never seen anywhere or anything where those are broken. Uh, you have four rod holders. And personally, I think that's way too many for this style of kayak. Uh, I like the back two. I don't use them all that often for rods because I have lost rods without knowing it on the river because these tubes there's no way to lock anything into them so i had the rod sitting in there underneath the branch wasn't paying attention didn't hear it and the rod just slid right out um the front two the only one i deem necessary is the right side uh the left side i would have liked to have seen uh this removed and a rudder put on because 95% of fishermen are right-handed. When we're tying a lure on, we use the right-hand rod holder. Sets in there. This left-hand one never gets used. Um, if a left-handed fisherman wanted to have that, then you could just make it to where you could swap the rudder over. Um, there's plenty of room back here for a rudder. I don't know why there's not one on this size of a kayak. Um, so I think that's all the stuff in the front. Uh, moving on back, you have where I keep my uh, tough crate, but you can also put a milk crate back here or a yak attack box, whatever you want to. It's big enough to hold everything. The straps aren't gonna go anywhere. Um, you can tell mine are pretty wore out, but they're st they still hold my rod, uh, my box pretty securely. Um, it is deep. So um, if your box doesn't fit in uh, sideways, you can fit it in long ways and it should fit. I have yet to see something that didn't fit. The milk crates fit in there, my tough crate fit in there. Um, so everything's everything's in there securely. Um, then you have this little piece right here, which I'm not actually sure what this is meant for. I don't understand why they just couldn't have done, done this flat. I guess it's for the elevation rise of the seat. Um, but what I like to do is when this seat's back and my tough crate's in, I use this for storage of my lunchbox um, and my spinnerbait box and stuff like that. Stuff I can't fit in my tough crate, I can fit right here. Um, I know it's not going to go anywhere because I normally keep the seat back. The tough crate's there. It's pretty secure. Um, when the seat is up in the up position, there is storage underneath the seat. Um, it is more than enough for a... Uh, a small tote if you wanted to put a small tote underneath there um i normally don't because i like to just throw myself plastics when i get done i just throw them underneath there 
Um, that way they're out of the way. If I change lures real quick and I don't feel like put it back in the box, I just cut it underneath there and put it back underneath there. Um, the seat has back straps. It also has uh, a back pocket for, um, I like to keep my GoPro stuff in there. Um, that way it's close to me. I know it's not gonna fall out. So, uh, a few other things. The pad, the foot pads, they're good. Um, again, don't really see the necessity for them. Um, I guess they help you with not slipping, but 95% of the time, unless you just get tired, uh, you're gonna be sitting down. You, this is a stand-up kayak. That's what the strap in the front's for. Um, and you can stand up with it. I'm six foot one and I don't make this thing unbalanced at all. Um, this thing is a barge. So to flip one, you'd have to screw up big time. Uh, it's not, I mean, it is a stable kayak. That's why I think it's great for beginners. It's cheap. I bought mine. I bought mine for about, I think, $800. And in the kayak market, when it comes to tournament kayaks, that's cheap. That's dirt cheap. Pelican makes them, so they are cheap. Um, would I recommend it? Absolutely. For somebody who wants to get into kayak fishing or kayak tournament fishing, um, and they want something that they're going to be comfortable on the water in, they're going to enjoy, um, it's going to keep them into kayak fishing, and they're going to further uh, grow their passion for kayak fishing, the Pelican Catch 100 is definitely the way to go. Like I said, this I'm not sponsored or uh, promoted by Pelican in any way. I just thought, hey, I just got done fishing out of it. I thought it'd be a great time to review some of the things I do like and some of the things I don't like. I think that's it. You get a great stable uh, fishing platform for beginners. It's probably the best one you can get in a tournament style. Now you, you have some of those from Walmart and other cheaper uh, kayaks, which are the sit in ones. But when you're tournament fishing, you definitely want to sit on top because it's just more spacious, it's more comfortable. And when it comes to kayak fishing, you're on the water for eight hours a day in a very small crammed area, you want to be comfortable. So that's one thing that I really am impressed with is just the fishability and it doesn't wear me out after a long day of fishing. So I think that's gonna be all. Uh, you can take this review for a grain of salt if y'all choose but that's just my opinion on it uh but just remember like subscribe share i'm gonna try to educate as many people as i can see y'all